Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're not going to talk of anything really that spectacular, that mind-blowing or groundbreaking, but we are going to talk about how to remove and replace the water filter on the Whirlpool. Uh, this is the model ED5KVEX VB03. Now the water filter is important obviously because it filters your water that's coming from your sink and going into your refrigerator which is then coming out of your dispenser there. Okay. Now there's all these different brands of water filters you can buy. There's uh, there's beta, there's pure, there's you know, I mean, they could get expensive. Uh, some of these are replacements for the standard one that comes with it. Um, but the, these filters fit a number of different um, serial numbers on the Whirlpool uh, refrigerator. So first, the question is how to remove the current filter that's in there and how to know if the filter needs to be replaced. Generally, they say every six months, replace your filter. And... Um, you know, you can tell uh, that the filter needs to be replaced by going in here, looking up at the top here, and you'll see a water filter status. Green is good, yellow is order, and red is replace. And you could reset that indicator. So right now, we're gonna start by showing you how to remove the filter. Um, you wouldn't think that it's difficult, but for some people, Things are difficult, and for others, they are not. So, let's go on ahead, get on down here, and the water filter is at the bottom here. Okay? You can see at the bottom here, you have a little opening, and there's a little push thing here. This is under pressure, okay? So what you're gonna do is, you're going to simply push this, and the water filter is going to blow out. Simple as that. And you're going to remove it. And you can see that this is the Whirlpool Mate KitchenAid Amana Gen Air Filter 34396841 Fast Fill Pure. All right. This was about 30 bucks. I wanted to buy in bulk, okay? Um, so I went with a different feature, uh, filter this time. Uh, I'm sure it's been tested. I'm sure it works. And again, as I said, um, they recommend replacing this every six months. So that's how you remove it. I just reset it before we went in there and did it, okay? So now I'm going to remove from the package this water filter which I purchased. And this is supposed to fit this refrigerator. And how do I know? Well, I checked with the manufacturer of this, uh, bought it on Amazon. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, install this one. So you will see on the box here, it gives you some specifications um, in terms of what it removes and what it replaces, okay? So Whirlpool and Kenmore, and these are the model numbers, okay? and so on, replacement for Whirlpool 4396841. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the box here. And this isn't any fancy refrigerator. I mean, it was a, we got destroyed by Sandy here. So this was, you know, we needed a refrigerator. So we put this refrigerator in, simple as that. Keeps the, the food warm or cool and uh, so on. I'll give you a data sheet with this filter, all right? And they also give you a, let's say some stickers here to indicate, I guess, when you put this in, all right? You can throw this on there. So this is how it comes, all right? We're simply gonna open this. It's very similar to the one that just came out. I got three of these for like, I think 50 bucks or so. Um, cat, shut up. Uh, let's take a look and compare this one um, to the one we just took out so we get an idea in terms of shape, size, and pretty much all looks the same, okay? You can see here, they look identical. Alright, so let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on down here. Alright. 
I'm going to push this in here, just like this, just like that, and push it in. And you can hear it running, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup, and I want to make sure that we're getting some water. You may see some stuff come out of it initially, as it's in the filter, okay? But it should clean, okay? Yes, cat. But overall, this refrigerator does what it needs to do. Okay, so this filter is, you can see what it does here, okay? So this is one of the things you gotta do is run this a little bit. Make sure it's working. You can see a little foggy in there. And we'll do this until it's, you know, clean and coming out correctly. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. That's our Whirlpool filter change. All right, thanks for watching.